everybody, once again here from Thailand. So in this video we're going to be heading from Bangkok to a place called Kanchanaburi, a few hours away. And we're going to head there by train on what is known as the Death Railway. It has that name because it was built during World War II when the Japanese had invaded Thailand and Myanmar and they had a railway built that joined Myanmar and Thailand together. And over a three year period, 300,000 workers were used, including prisoners of war, and it's said that around 100,000 of them died due to the brutal working conditions and disease. So that's why it has the name the Death Railway. And we had heard about this place because of the film The Bridge on the River Kwai. So Kanchanaburi is where you find that bridge and this train is actually going to pass it. And when I searched about the area I actually saw that there's loads of other things to see. So we thought it might as well check it out. And to get there you have to go to the Tombori station in Bangkok. And that's where we'll be starting this video. Okay. I was getting the coffee to wake up. <laughs> Very early. So we're unsure how busy it was going to be, but there isn't really that many people here. It's actually quite empty. And I think everybody sits on the left because we think this is where you get the best views. The river's going to be on this side, so that's why we chose to sit here on the left too. So we ended up switching carriages because this one has padded seats. On the tickets it doesn't show any seat numbers so I think you can just sit anywhere pretty much. And you can pull the windows down so that's going to be good. Going to get some really good views. I think it's over two hours the ride. Yeah, I think we leave at 7.50 and we arrive there around uh, 11 10, 30, something like that. Okay. Alright, off we go. at the station in Kanchanaburi and that's where we we're supposed to get up but we've only just found out that the scenic part of the train ride is after so we're gonna continue on because we've already paid for that in the ticket and then uh, yeah we'll get off at another station and get a taxi back it has been a nice ride so far but it's mainly just been uh, yeah just green plants everywhere there was a mountainous area back there but we're supposed to cross like the actual River Kwai bridge see the river so that's what we're hoping for now. Now check out the old trains there. Must be the original trains. So I think now we're gonna pass the River Fly Bridge. We're gonna come back here to walk anyway. So this won't be the only time we're seeing it. That's why everybody's here right now. Look loads of people. <laughs> So I think all these guys are just waiting for the train to pass so that they can walk on the bridge. <laughs> Hello. So the famous bridge on the River Kwai. That's cool, you can wait here, look. <laughs> Actually looks better on this side. Look at that out there, the, the temple. Looks like a Chinese temple.
see like elevated uh, train tracks now We've got some really cool floaty places to stay over there on the other side it's very popular around here The cool part with the rocks. Yeah, what I like about the train as well is that you go slow at the, yeah. the good parts. Yeah, I think because everybody's taking pictures. So. Yeah, <laughs> like intentionally, so we're going super slow, no rush. Yeah, it's definitely crazy how they, they built this stretch of the track. Reminds me a bit of uh, Luang Prabang oh, in yeah. Laos. Mm -hmm. oh. Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Hello. A little bit. Yeah, the Wang <laughs> in Laos looked exactly like this. Oh, look at those cool restaurants. Another waiver. Hello! <laughs> I think he was like the guard, right? Yeah. Security guard. He was filming too. Yeah, too. <laughs> Hello, doggos! Just about, just about bit through. So this station is called Wang Po. Looks like a quiet little place. Everywhere is a quiet little place around here. So it was a very nice train ride overall. I always like train rides. Actually, got to cross the the tracks here to go to the main part of town over here. And then we'll just have to find a taxi or something to get back. Are we getting a taxi or the train back? We'll check the, the price of the taxi. Hopefully we can get that because it will be easier. Yeah, straight to our hotel. And this is what you call a, a Thai ghost town. <laughs> There's like barely anybody here at all. So we spoke with one of the locals here. Not many people speak English around here, but we found one. And there are no taxis here. So there is no way to get back by car, so we have to wait for the train to go back. That's going to be in like an hour and a half. So we'll just get a bite to eat here while we wait. Won't be too bad. You know you're definitely not in a tourist place when there's no options for transport by land. Well, this is a nice looking restaurant here. Prawi Nut Restaurant. It really does look nice, the, the layout of it. Nice and green. Buffet. That's a buffet. All right, so the buffet is 200 per person. There's a bit of confusion because everybody else that's here is part of a tour. We're the only people that just strolled in out of nowhere. <laughs> but loads of food for yeah, 200. It looks delicious. So the food is really great. I got a pad thai with tofu and then they have this like uh, chili minced chicken. It's really spicy, I just had a bit. Got some spring rolls and bananas. What's your yours is tofu as well, isn't it? Sweet and sour tofu and fried rice. Yeah. And then these guys got pretty much the same as us. Mm -hmm. Oh you got the fried chicken. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. center of Kanchanaburi now and we're already going on a little tour we got like a private taxi here here it says taxi but I think there's another kind of name for this so it's gonna be 800 and we chose three different stops to go to but there are a lot of other places that you can go you can go to elephant camps a bunch of different uh, like gardens and temples so we're going to some of these some cave ones some viewpoints too check the graveyard here in town like a mix of modern style graves and the, the stupas like you see in the temples yeah, I haven't seen a graveyard like that before seems like the writings in uh, Chinese on the graves This uh, tram thing here to the first temple up there was a uh, 20 baht 
a person. <laughs> 20 baht. 20 baht, yeah. That's 440. You can take the steps as well, it's not that many steps, but 20 baht return. Why not? So I didn't mention the name, this one is called Tiger Cave Temple. And we came to this one since it's on like a hillside. So you get some great views here too. That isn't the River Kwai back there, that's the Mai Klong. It's like a branch of the River Kwai. Nice shirt, girl. Yeah, <laughs> your shirt. My shirt. <laughs> wow, so look at this temple here at the top of the hill. Almost looks like something out of Disneyland, this one. Loads of different buildings all around. Obviously this giant, giant Buddha. See some pagodas back there too. Looks amazing, so colorful. Yeah, this might be one of the best ones we've ever seen. I mean, so different. Yeah, Very definitely yeah. one of the most attractive. And the nice thing about this area is that we're completely in rural Thailand now. One thing that surprises though is just how dry everything is. We thought because it's just been the rain season that everything would be like lush green. Yeah, but maybe here it's a different season. I don't know because it's very dry like you said and the vegetation is very dry too. We noticed on the train as well that while we were getting close it was just getting drier and yeah. drier. Yeah, a lot of dust. Yeah, even the temperature seems way hotter here than Bangkok. And we're not that far away, really. We're kind of close to the border of uh, Myanmar now. The area actually reminds us a lot of places that we went in uh, Myanmar, the rural areas. Very similar to this. Got some cool paintings in this room. You can hear people hitting the bells outside. So in a lot of the temples and around Thailand, you always see paintings and sculptures of elephants. You even see some elephants around as well. Always been a big part of the Thai culture. They used to go to war with them, as you can see. Riding the elephants to war. So some even higher views. This is where all the, the noise is coming from, these things. People go around doing them all, all the way around. actually just been climbing and climbing up one of the pagodas you can go up a few of them around here and the views get even better at the temple <laughs> look at that really is a magical temple this place so it's really cool each floor has different paintings so the lower ones were of the rulers of Thailand and then there was other floors showing the battles and this seems to be more the life of the Buddha so you can see him here with his disciples and then we've seen these statues before of the reclining Buddha and I think it's from this image here as he's uh, about to pass away and I'm not sure what's going on here some sort of dragon snake and yeah this definitely looks like heaven some psychedelic looking heaven yeah so this is uh, as far as you can go the last floor even the ceiling is really nice golden and shiny. These are even better from over here. Yeah. Oh, way, way high now. Check out that pagoda there.
now come to the second temple of the day. Completely empty this one, there's no one in the parking at all. A few steps to go up, and this one's supposed to be inside a cave. That's why we chose to come to this one. Mum's getting a real workout today. <laughs> My knees. Bad knees. Nobody here, is there? No. No workers or anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was quite a lot of stairs right there. Must be over a hundred. Alright, so this is the entrance. Better take your flip flops off. Yeah, so we're definitely the only people here. We only have our shoes. Oh, that's cool. It's like inside the rock. Yeah. Like gems and stuff. Yeah, it's already looking extra cool in here. You ever been in a cave temple before? Been in a cave church, but not a temple. Not a Buddhist one. Buddha statues everywhere in this one. This is only a part of it, I think there's other rooms out here. You can go deeper into the temple. So this area has quite a few cave temples. There's loads of mountains around this area of Kanchanaburi. So if you look on Google Maps and you click on some, there's quite a lot. Is that a dog? A dog. Dogs come here to meditate in a deep state of meditation. Yeah, I think this is it then, it's just this area. It's like a quick 15 minute stop. Oh no, it goes further on back here. There's an arrow. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh wow, this is way cooler than I was expecting. Didn't expect this to be back here, Mum. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a tunnel. Wow, yeah. Don't know if this is natural or man-made. Follow the arrows. Oh, it says to crouch through here. Some bats. Some bats? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely a, a bat cave. Did my dad go in? Yeah. yeah sir. Really? Is there anything there, Dad? Well, there's arrows saying go forward. Oh. Arrows? Yeah. Oh. Alright, I'll, I'll join you. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a cave where I could crouch in. Got bats in here, huh? There's bats? Yeah. yeah. Alright, that's nice. Better be something here, you gotta do all this crouching. It just opens up into a cavern. It opens up? Yeah, it opens up into a cavern. Because yeah, there's these arrows saying to go inside deeper. And it's hard to even walk at all here. Oh wow. This is some Indiana Jones place, isn't it? Yeah, we might, we might as well, right? We've already done the hard part. Image is probably kind of dark now. Oh, I just saw a bat fly out. Looks like there's some natural light. Oh no, that's still the light bulb, isn't it? Do we know? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Where does this place take us? Ah, you've had it now, man. Had it? Can go forward, but. Oh, is it the end of the road? I don't think so, but I'm not going any further. Oh yeah. You can if you want, but. Yeah, I might check it out. Yeah, there's not much of a pathway now. It's just all these rocks. It's kind of smooth, the rock. What a crazy passageway though. Ah, oh, there's some uh, ladders. Oh, some ladders at the end. Right, I'm really curious where this goes. It looks like it goes to a view. <laughs> some old school, like steel ladders. All right, freedom. <laughs> that was one of the coolest cave adventures ever. <sighs> what is up here? Oh man, look at this, how funny that is. There were literally just normal steps here. <laughs> After all that work. Uh, I think it's just like a viewpoint, although it's pretty overgrown. And then got a statue here. 
problem is now I think I've got to go back in the caveway because my dad's probably waiting there halfway so I don't want to go to the main front entrance all right going back inside You won't believe it, there was a normal staircase to there from the outside. Oh, no way. Where's Dad? Outside. Okay. You have to check this room. This room? Oh, there's another secret room. Yeah. Carol, that was the craziest little path ever. Oh, wow, another cave room. There's even some sort of fault here. Oh, yeah, it's full of water. Loads of money in there. Not sure who this guy is, it's not the Buddha with that hair, I don't think. What a bizarre temple. And the fact that nobody's here too. Yeah, this was a, a nice find. So we're making a donation here. We're gonna do one of these things for once. How is it? Oh, there's a candle there. I think there was fire over there. Make a wish, maybe. So we also got this kind of golden thing inside the paper. Yeah. Which I think is to put on yeah, the statues. The, one of the statues, yeah. Yeah, you see that in a lot of places that the statues are actually made of like a rock or metal, but they cover it in those golden papers. Now come to the last stop on our little private trip. This is called Wat Tam Kao Pun. And for this one we had to pay 30 to enter. So here it also says that it's called Koa Pun Cave Temple. It's an old temple. No history document of the temple is found though. But it is recorded in 1870. King Rama V or King Chura Longkorn. He visited the, the cave to worship the reclining Buddha in the cave. Was that you? Yeah, I love that sound. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice sound, isn't it? Yeah, it's similar. It's the best. Yeah, an icon. Lovely. Check these guys out. I don't usually see them in the temples. Wow, it's just the entrance. This one goes underground. There is more to do here besides uh, caves and temples. <laughs> Interrupting me. So in the next video we'll be doing some other things, not just uh, temples. Plan to visit some really beautiful waterfalls, so that'll be coming up. This one has nine rooms from what I read, nine different rooms, way bigger rooms than the last one that we went into. Got some natural light peeking through in this one as well. wonder what's through here, you're not allowed in I don't think. Another cave locked. Some crazy red light. So, so far this area is seeming really nice because we're in the peak season right and uh, Obviously everywhere we've been going we've been enjoying but it's always packed with tourists and the train and these temples are just not that busy at all and we've seen a lot of Thai tourists, local tourists. Alright another crazy little temple. Pretty cool how they put these red lights. I wonder what for. Makes it seem a bit spooky.
pitch black tunnels again. This part's really thin. Yeah, I can't believe how big this is underground. We're just walking around underground. It's probably been about 10 minutes now, just walking around. It smells like bats. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, well, big Buddha statue. That's a tarantula, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> this cave's getting creepier. Yeah, now I won't be touching anything in this cave. I won't like to meditate down here with that guy around. No. This place also has a viewpoint even more impressive than the other places. Once again, an absolutely gigantic golden statue. And right over the river this time, right next to the river. I think there's a train track down here from what we saw on Google Maps. Yeah, there is. I don't think we can see, but there is right here. And I think there's some sort of tunnel. Not a tunnel, but almost like a tunnel. Yeah, like in between two in cliffs. Between two big cliffs, yeah, and people come to take pictures. So even there I can see a gigantic Buddha statue, a white one. These cliffs look amazing though, the limestone cliffs. All right, last bit of exercise for the day. It's so, so, so damn hot. So if you come into these cave places, just keep that in mind. Gonna do a lot of walking, a lot of walking up and down. But for these views so far, definitely worth it. And definitely for the, the cave, it was worth it. Yeah, way, way better views from up here. So we could just see that part before, but now we can see the river bending around. And up here you got this giant stupa, giant golden stupa. Pretty much 360 views from this point. The best views, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. Of today. <laughs> wow. Really reminding us of Myanmar though, because when we traveled there for a month, ages ago, before all the current issues, we go to so many places where we were like the only tourists almost, and it was like completely off the beaten path. But they still had epic temples, epic places like this to visit. A bit later on now we ended up just resting for a while and we come back to the river Kwai bridge this time not from the train though and we come at the sunset time somebody said it was really good from the bridge pretty busy around this time everybody walking on the bridge didn't notice this before these huge bombs don't know if they're real I think that's real Ed I think it is yeah might be Carol so the train only passes here like Four times, doesn't it? Yeah. Two times going and two times back. Yeah, and not, it's not now the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like uh, maybe two hours ago, the last train. Ah, two hours ago. Yeah, so it is completely safe to walk on here. sun goes behind the mountain pretty much everybody disappears basically nobody here at all now we're just gonna walk the full length might as well don't think I ever imagined coming to this bridge when I when I watched the film 
Never thought that I'd come to the location. I didn't know that there was other things there when I watched the film. I thought it was just like a bridge in the middle of nowhere. Probably was at that time. Going down this video here, right on the tracks, just walking back now. And we are gonna make one more video here. We booked four nights here overall, because there is actually a lot of things to do. It's not just the bridge. I think a lot of people just come here for a day tour and see a few things, but yeah, there is a lot to do. It actually looks like you could spend a week around this region. So yeah, I think the next video is gonna be really cool because the waterfalls that we're gonna go to look absolutely mind blowing. So. Stay tuned for that one and if you like this one just drop a like as usual to support us, subscribe to see more like this, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next one.